Hello friends, welcome to Gem Suite, the Pearl of Pearls, my current dwarf fortress that I am working on, mostly playing this save file these days. I just wanted to make a quick YouTube video though and share some of the keyboard shortcuts that I use to make Dwarf Fortress a more enjoyable game for my gameplay style. I had a interesting conversation over the weekend with my partner who is a new Dwarf Fortress player learning on the Steam version and I hadn't realized that they were not using the same keyboard shortcuts that I am using. I used to play Dwarf Fortress about 14 years ago. There's been a big gap in between, but I am a returning player. So aside from my absolute dazzlement at the incredible graphics, I also <laughs> have uh, memories of the gameplay with the old ASCII game where we did not have any kind of mouse play. Man, the mouse was not a part of what was happening when I played Dwarf Fortress before. We were using uh, cursor controls with the keyboard. Everything happened on the keyboard. Now, for me as a returning player, the most useful mod that I downloaded starting out was the Interface Tweaks mod. I'm running 1.3 right now. It's by user Trainzac over on Steam. I highly recommend Interface Tweaks as a mod because it gives you these excellent little reminders on your icons at the bottom of the screen. You get both the letter, the keyboard command, as well as a little line there that tells you hotkey colon M for digging orders, right? So if you need to mine, you hit M and bam, you've got digging orders. You can go ahead and mine away. So we could mine out another bedroom for this uh, cute little dormitory I'm gonna attach onto my tavern here. With those M command, no problem. When I'm building bedrooms, I'm using a lot of B commands typically. So B for build, as you can see down here on the high, hotkey bar here. B for build is the hotkey, then F for furniture. BFB is your classic build furniture bed. Boom, build furniture bed. Any place I need to select and set a bed into can be done just like that. Of course, I have to have one built, but if I did, it would set it right there. Uh, build furniture T for table, often a command I find myself using and build furniture BFR for thrones or seats. Um, BFR gives you thrones or seats. I always use kind of a mental mnemonic when I'm remembering my hotkey commands. So build B, that's easy. F furniture, that's easy. Throne I don't build other kinds of chairs generally. I just I just crank out thrones because every dwarf is a king and a queen. Um, so B F R for throne. In my mind, I'm picturing those words. I'm picturing the three letter abbreviation underneath of them. And in the words, I'm picturing either bolded or in some other way, it stands out to me, the letters that I'm using. So B from build, F from furniture, and R in throne is what I imagine. Your memory and your style of gameplay may work very differently for you. That's just what I, that's what I do. You'll notice this uh, little yellow box here on my screen. That yellow, little yellow box is the result of uh, keyboard cursor control. So I use my up arrow, I can move him. Um, I use my plus and minus keys, I can go up and down levels with him. Um, but it is just mostly used with macro building for myself. Um, I'm not going to get into that today. Macros are a whole other thing. You can turn on keyboard controls though in settings. Game and keyboard cursor enabled. You want to have that set, set for yes to have your keyboard control. Um, you'll notice I have no weather right now because it would be a laggy mess if I did have weather on at the moment with the amount of dwarves in this fortress and running other software. Anyway, 
we've done BFB, build furniture bed, BFT, build furniture table, BFR, build furniture throne, another two furniture hotkey commands that I use all the time, BFH for chest, picturing the H in chest as the HBFH, or even BFN for cabinet, N in cabinet, BFN, all very nice. Um, those are my basic, those are my basic furniture placement shortcuts. Those will get you real far. As you're playing, you might learn some more. I have memorized, just because I use them so often, BFY for display, the last letter in display is Y. BFU for statue, again, the last letter is U. Um, BF capital T for traction table. I just remember that because it's kind of funny to me. I don't know. You will learn the ones that benefit you, but do explore them because I think that it makes the gameplay quicker. Um, and it's a lot, I mean, you don't think about it until you do that when you're bringing your cursor all the way down here to say, open the orders menu, and then all the way back up here, or not objects, orders, Come back up here to open a new work order and then back down over here when you're done doing that to do this or that or the other thing. Say, uh, I want to, I'm up here, I'm, I'm, I'm doing work, I'm placing tables, I'm whatever, and I want to set some engraving orders. Instead of coming all the way down to V and then choosing engraving, um, I call them V, I don't even... I, I associate the icons with the hotkey, um, but down to smooth, which is V, and G for engrave, right? So I don't, I don't utilize all of the possible combinations. I will say I'm trying to build uh, gaps for my archers in the wall. I don't remember that it is V, F. I just typically come down here and hit V and F. There's no need to memorize everything. You may over time, but you're gonna get to know what works for your gameplay style. Um, with construction, when I'm building, I find that the shortcut keys I use most are uh, B, F, I'm sorry, constructing bn construction so build constructions bn f bn f build constructions floor or bn l build constructions wall right um also when building and mining and digging and all of that good stuff i find that i use b P for portals, at least in my head canon, right? R for doors. B P R is how you bring up doors, and I think that that is up there with B F B in the top like keyboard command shortcuts that anyone can learn. B F B for build furniture beds. B P R for build portals doors. And uh, if that doesn't make any sense to you, this might not be the way for you to play. But if it's starting to like really kind of click, this could really improve gameplay for you as a Dwarf Fortress player. Um, other than that, navigational hotkeys are really helpful. I find that sometimes I'm cranking on the, uh, the mouse ball or the mouse roller and it will take me up and down way too many Z levels. And I'm just trying to go like two or three, right? Oh, I love it when they sing. Sing about it, boys. Um, so I take it up and down Z levels with the keyboard shortcuts E and C, which are really cool for that. Um, it's intuitive. You already use WASD for your uh, various camera controls. E and C are right there, up and down. Super cool. I actually had to change the key bindings, I know I'm not the only one, on the mouse wheel because it was counterintuitive for me the directions that they went in. I had to, ch I had to reverse them for up and down. Um, you know, customize the game to the way you like to play. 
we're already though using the WASD. We're already using the space bar to stop and pause or pause and play. We all of us can probably be using more keyboard shortcuts. I could be using more keyboard shortcuts. I'm about to use more keyboard shortcuts, in fact, because I believe one of the best shortcuts that you can use is for teleporting around your base. And to do that, we're gonna use the F keys, but to set the F keys, you have to know how to open the menu, which is lowercase h. This is so good. Um, everybody gets their wagon arrival location preset for them. Anybody, everybody, you hit F1, it's gonna take you there. I have here set top side, which is the top of my fort, where my trading post and my windmill are. And I'm going to set a new recentering location using F3 right here at my new tavern. We're going to call this new tavern the pink. If you are uh, expat of Buffalo, New York, you know, you know, if you don't know, you don't know. That's fine. It's a terrible little bar. Um, so now we have the pink set up here. And we can go F2 to top side, check on everything. How's everything? Everything looks pretty normal. Got the little windmill up here. Everything's chill. Back down to F3. Bam. I didn't have to scroll through Z levels. I didn't have to change my camera. I'm just here. Now I'm there. F1 to my embark location. Beautiful, right? I should use F shortcuts more and I will in the future. Um, I hope that you use more shortcuts too and that it helps you with your gameplay. If you got anything useful out of this video, if you enjoyed your time, like, I get a little dopamine hit. It's nice. I don't really care if you subscribe, but go for it. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these on macros. Maybe I'll do another one of these on some more key bindings that I find useful. Maybe I'll just keep posting videos of when monsters attack. But this was uh, my key binding uh, helpful tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Have a good one.